Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, what I like to call my new upgraded channel, because I finally invested in an actual camera and a microphone so I can start bringing you some better content. So be prepared for every video to hopefully get slightly better. But that is not the topic of today. The topic of today is how to create a grunge texture for your designs using just Canva. I used to always see people using this design and I loved the way it looked and the kind of vintage feel it gave to a t-shirt design. But the problem is I couldn't figure out how to do it on Canva and I don't have Illustrator or Photoshop and I know a lot of people that I teach just use Canva, but I figured it out and I wanna share it with you guys. So first, what I mean by grunge is seeing a design like this, how it kind of has this texture to it that kind of makes it look a little bit older. It makes it, the design kind of look less flat. It is becoming super popular and always kind of was, especially within the retro feel, but I'm starting to see it even pop up on Halloween shirts and more. So I think this is going to be a super helpful trick to know. So first open up Canva, open up your design board, and then create your design. I'm just gonna use this retro grow with the flow, which we had created in the last tutorial on how to create retro wavy font. So if you wanna learn how to make this, go watch the last video, but we're just gonna start from here. So go on over to elements and you can either look up grunge or grainy. I'm just gonna look up grunge here and you're gonna get a few of these different options. I'm gonna bring it in and we're just gonna change the color to white. And I'm just going to expand that and fit it with how I would like it to look. Cool, seems simple enough, but this is not gonna print well because if you change the color of your background here, I'm just gonna change it to a random color, you're gonna see that this white is going to print everywhere. So if you see this as a PNG file and then you put it on your t-shirts. This is gonna show up and just look horrible unless you're printing this on a white t-shirt. You want your t-shirt color to show through. So to be able to do that, we're just gonna place it like this. We're gonna save our file as a transparent PNG file at a decent res. I'm at 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. If yours is smaller, maybe just increase the size and save that. Then on Google, look up white background remover. I have used all of these and by far my favorite is this one right here. The title is a bit long, so maybe Google it once and then save it, but it's remove-white-background.imageonline.co. A little bit of a mouthful. And then we're gonna upload our image. Once it's in, go ahead and hit remove white background. And then we're gonna download the image. Once we've done that, just reopen Canva and then bring in that new PNG, PNG file that was saved from the white background remover. And let's do our test. Change the background. And there you go. Now the background shows through. So let's put this on a t-shirt. Just restyle it. And now you don't have to worry about what color background you are using because these spots just aren't going to print. They're going to look good on every single color and it will always match the shirt. Also, hey, look, that's me. I'm growing my mock-up shop if you're interested in some mock-ups. But anyhow, that is how you can create the grunge texture on your designs. Thank you so much, you guys. Please follow for more as I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel so I can offer some longer form content for you guys. And let me know in the comments below if this was helpful and if there's any other kind of design style that you would like me to teach you how to create using Canva. Thanks.